glad you made it. Today's ride will be tougher, so we will all need to dig deeper. Join us for part two of Enduro Adventure. If you missed part one, 12 of us would join our team leader Chris in the mountains of central British Columbia for a breathtaking scenery in the Alpine. And so the goal is to get both groups past the first crux onto the next road. Mm -hmm. And then there's a big playground there. You can mess around. It's pretty nice. Right at the top, unless you guys want to break halfway up. But no, that's fine. Are you okay? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Ooh, I have lots of time to kill at the top too, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah, lots, yeah. Tons of fun. Steph and I believe our friend Bobby could have totally made it up the harder route but we're thankful for her company. We've shared most of our best adventures with her and Aladdin over the years. From our first backcountry discovery route to the 2022 Enduro Adventure, also on our channel. Andrew, our guide, takes us up the direct route to the top, a steep 25 minute climb. All right, we're crystal hunting. We've sent, found some here. <laughs> we get inside this rock here. Yeah, sometimes, yeah it's, it's honest, but and in here, no, I just found a neat one. one. What Bobby find? Another nice crystal. Good yeah. job. What they call this? The crystal pile? Crystal, yeah. Yeah. This will go for a while apparently till it starts getting gnarly and I'm starting to believe the rumors a little bit more after uh, the briefing from the guide there. So, not the alders. I had enough, I'm traumatized. PTSD. This six kilometer single track trail is constantly climbing and becomes exposed side hill. First timers take two hours. Simple mistake could be very problematic. There's a little 
little different than we ride back home because we got a bunch of exposure here on the right. Well, otherwise, the trail itself is very, very reminiscent of home. Very much, just without the slope into death all the time that we've had since we started. So we're having fun. Definitely good times. Not so much as the long <laughs> I don't know about standing here. Oh shit! Like I should be, but I'm scared. Which is ironic because it's probably a much. Whoa! I don't know if it's just a placebo effect or if I'm actually safer because I could lean in. But when you see those sideways roots, they're a little bit scary on hills like this. Did they say this is a horse trail? I don't even think horses do this. Jeez. Don't stop. <laughs> I'm like scared now, I don't know what's on the right, it's so bushy. I'd rather see a drop off. That's a beauty shot. Good. That's, That's a good, good place to be. Yeah. Hang on, let me, hang on. Let me get up on the slope here. Gravity and roots happen. All right. Now, I'm gonna just pull. Uh, that's the, uh, yeah, you wanna grab, you have to grab here. Okay. Because the, the other one is broke. It's broken? Well, yeah, it's held together by... <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, on three. One, two, three. There you go. You got it. Yeah, I'll show you on this side. Try and shake the hair off my mane. <laughs> Well, I don't know if the video will do justice, but we're almost at the end of the horse trail. We spaced out so much, we all, we all struggle. And it's no, nothing harder than what we have in Vancouver Island, it's just the exposed cliff plays with your mental game, man. So, as soon as there was, there were, there was no cliff, like uh, Colin and I were just standing and just riding like we ride at home, like sending it. Feeling blessed, blessed because the flies and mosquitoes here don't seem to bug me. Like, I haven't had a single bite yet. They are all buzzing around, but it's like there's this invisible forest field where they just don't want to go past. Maybe it's my smell, maybe it's my blood, but I'm very appreciative because I can just take my helmet off, hang out here. Even when I have my helmet on, I see hundreds of little bugs, but they won't come inside and feed on my eyes and stuff, so. Not always this lucky, but out here, we get along great. This 
isn't my first time up this hill. My bad luck is far from over. This embarrassing fall recracks my previously broken ribs, and it becomes a long day for me, and every bump will hurt. The camera rarely does the hills justice, and this descent was super steep and a totally new experience for Stephanie. Some of the guys opt for a spicy detour. We'll meet them on the other side. We have reached our day two lunch stop and enjoy the view. We're going there. Even struggling with the pain, this would be my favorite part of the day's riding. Such a unique track in the open alpine, slowly taking us to what would be for me and many, the test of the day.
Chris Burton me, man. That was fun. Yeah, that's so fun. You got it. You got it. Good job, boss. While I'm sweeping, I want all you guys to be up there first. Things to mm -hmm. That was well done. I like the <laughs> roost. Hey, flying, flying man. You did it. Oh. There you go. What? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Good job, everyone. By the way, you guys, like, yeah, yeah, I just don't want to overstep my bounds, but if you feel like you want to hand, just don't hesitate to. By now, you know me well enough to know. Oh, well, yeah. My pride doesn't get me. <laughs> Scotty. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to poke this ridge. And then now uh, there's like a rock road to go across. There's an easy way right here. Or sorry, easier. You see the trail, the trail there? Yeah. It goes down and there's a bunch of switchbacks. You could walk, bulldog it. You got lots of time. If you want, I can come around. I can come back up that switchback trail and meet you guys if you need help. Sure. Um, but right along that tree line. Yeah. Lower it? trail. I'm going to take the one up there. You see that trail over there? Yeah. yeah. That's my line. Is the trail we're taking above the tree line or below the tree line? saddle. On the easy way? No, you just follow the trail. You, you can see the quad road at the bottom of it. Right. Um, yeah, just take your time. It's just steep switchbacks. And... That's the spin move. He is best described as falling down a cliff.
<laughs> Fucking bodies all over the place. That's the easy trail right there. I don't know who we are to do that. So we just took the easy way down here. The guys climbed up this ridge along there. And uh, it's very steep. Did you have a Snickers moment? Well, if it won't kick, sorry, it won't bump sturdy. Okay. The light, you know, comes, on when you the light comes on. Maybe it is a battery connection that you're like there's a. Just to satiate the peanut gallery. <laughs> Take the seat off. <laughs> and then yeah. when it doesn't work, or uh, at least we'll we'll shut up over here. This is our YouTube right now. Yeah. <laughs> the comments, live YouTube yeah, yeah, comment yeah. section. Right. <laughs> Take the seat do off. Do this, do that. If it was me, I don't know. <laughs> To know Chris is to know a kind and subtle force of nature. His willingness to challenge himself and better his riding has been inspiring to watch over the years, and we are honored to call him a friend. Baby. Flowers on the planet. I don't know what they're called now. These are called the paint brushes. Yeah. There's a what? Uh, this track leads down to the remnants of an old cabin, and this marker celebrates the life of a local pioneer that lived and mined these mountains. Thank <laughs> you. 
good? Oh, oh you're good. No? Yeah, yeah a little more. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh. Yeah. Some more single track we are starting to get better at. to go home or keep going? Well, it's just around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to call it. I've had a good run. Okay, so, Quentin, what are you doing? I'm going with you guys. Huh? I'm going home. Hotel? All right, who's going to lead the guys home? Us. Beth. Oh, I'm leading? Sure, okay. Well, yeah, we're just going down. I'll see you tomorrow. Coming up this would be no joke. While we descend the mountain, Chris and crew head higher into the challenge they hope to find. Of the story, we will lean on Greg's generous video clips. They will take us for the remainder of this 2,500 meter high odyssey into some of British Columbia's most stunning scenery. You're just going to try to keep it upright. Right, That'll be so the hardest thing for you. I'm going to put it in first, eh? Yeah. I'm going to pull the clutch to even you uh, knock it back. <laughs>
market from zero, basically. Is that you get quite right? a few sales, yeah. and then they think there should be more. They set up another dealer. Yeah. Another year later, they set up another dealer. And the pie is only so big. Sure. And eventually, the economy turns, and the other guys go away. Or they get to Next time, Chris finds another challenge that we run away from. It's supposed to be a test to see if you'll invite us back. We hope you all come along. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.